Forecast with Point Six Meteorologist Riley O'Connor. And she said, yes, that's a good thing. As we go ahead and look at the forecast for this morning, we are going to start off on a dry note. A little bit of fog out there, so take a little bit of extra time and allow some space between you and the car in front of you. It is going to be patchy and dense in nature. Now, as we go through the day today, you are going to start to notice those showers developing, and they will start off on a light note and become more steady as the day goes on. Notice our temperatures, though, not climbing too much, only around 47 degrees when the kids head home from school. And your evening commute is going to be a little bit breezy with the shower in the area continuing through the evening hours. So if you're headed to the football games tonight, right around 46 degrees by kickoff time, and it will be a little wet. Now, as we look outside this morning, we're dry, cloudy, 43 degrees with an east southeast wind at three miles per hour. And temperature wise, starting off cool out towards Hillsboro at 36 degrees, 39 in Beaverton, and 43 downtown. Lower 40s in Gresham, and then 45 out towards Hood River. Check out Ben this morning. Good morning to you. 28 degrees, so a cold start for you there. So we're seeing the clouds move in. A little bit of shower activity, getting reports of some drizzle up towards the Astoria area, but as this system really takes its way towards the south, we're going to see a couple things happening. We're going to see that steady rain developing later today, breezy conditions, and the snow levels are going to drop. This is a cold system, so what we're looking at here in the valley gust up to around 20 to 30 miles per hour. That's late this afternoon into the evening and overnight hours. The coast could get up to around 45 to 50, some of their gusts. Cascades, winter driving, of course. The coast range, we're staying wet, so no snow out in that area. But tonight through tomorrow morning, those snow levels drop to around 2,500 feet, and this is what's going to get you in the fever. We have Ski Fever Snowboard Show today. This opening at the Expo Center, so it's going to be wet there, but snow coming up on Mount Hood. So again, that gets you really in the mood for the snowfall forecast. As we go ahead and time this out for you, again, this morning some spotty showers becoming more widespread by your lunch hour. It's going to be wet through the evening hours. Notice the widespread uh, rainfall and the breezy conditions will be with us. Snow levels drop in the Cascades through the evening evening and overnight hours tomorrow morning. Still thinking we'll see some spotty showers around in the metro area and out towards the coast. Snow continues in the Cascades and then tomorrow evening. I think we get a bit of a break from the precipitation in the valley. Still looking at some snow in the Cascades though, so that's going to add to the amounts. And then by Sunday, we have another system that's going to pull in. That's going to give us another chance of rain and snow in the mountains. So let's go ahead and look at the snow forecast through 9 a.m. tomorrow. Notice how we're looking at 6 to 12 inches in the highest elevations for you and government camp, possibly up to around four to eight inches of snow. So we're talking about the past levels getting uh, some accumulations here and then I'll extend it through Sunday 6 p.m. Notice how we're getting into that 12 to 18 inch range for the highest elevation. So I'm calling it skiers delight on Twitter. Here's a look at your forecast for today along the coast wet at times through the valley and east of the mountains generally cool and we will see the chance for rain and snow throughout the daytime period and through the evening, especially we'll have steady rain at times through the gorge and then government camp right around 33 degrees possibly three to seven inches by tonight. Downtown 57 degrees with a low near 44 for tonight as we look at the extended forecast tomorrow. About the same temperature wise. Again, a bit of a break in the evening hours uh, from the rain, but then that other system moves in on Sunday that's going to bring us more rain chances. And then another system comes in Monday evening through Tuesday where we'll be wet at times and breezy conditions. You know, with this whole Movember thing that we've been doing over the past uh, couple of weeks, it got us thinking, you know, we have Riley O'Connor, but does Riley O'Connor live up to Ron Burgundy. Oh, I don't that know is the, the question. The I think, or the do we, the, well, the, maybe a little <laughs> bit of both. Oh, that's <laughs> that's it correct. looks exactly the same. I, 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 a little serious there, huh? I, I know, know, right? I kind of got it going on. You got to get like the smirk, the burgundy smirk. <laughs> I need it's, to practice the smirk. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. All I'm that was saying. a good shot. That was funny. Um, of course, I'm doing this for Prostate Cancer Awareness Month and Men's Health Issues. You can follow me on coin.com slash Movember and my uh, well my growth of the mo I should say you can also follow me on Riley O'Coin and also my Facebook page too and again I'm doing this for all men's health awareness month and prostate cancer awareness reminding all the guys out there to get their PSA exams sure. prostate cancer runs in my family so this is my way of getting the word out a fun way to talk about it but for a very serious